Uh, hey everyone, it's Stacy. Popping on, doing an evening read tonight outside on my porch. Weather's so much better. Here I am, I'm live. I'm gonna get this pulled up so I can see if anybody pops on. I know everybody still doesn't have any power. Um, so I'm just hoping that, you know, a few people will come on and say hi today. Uh, great. All right, there we are. So I'm going to do a proper read with the um, shapeshifters and my baby tarot deck, which I love, so cute. Um, and I'm gonna do it for all the signs, okay? I'm gonna start with water. Um, actually, yeah, let's start with the water signs. And let's see how this goes. I'm hoping everybody can see this. That's why I have to pull my computer up because I wanna make sure my great big head's not in the way. Bar is here. Great, okay, perfect. So let's get a card for, oop, wow, a couple of cards already came out. One just fell down the deck. <laughs> oh, my life. We're gonna have to climb on the bill later and get it. Okay, the first one's Brother Raccoon for Cancer. What do we have for Scorpio? The dark, deep dark mermaid. And look, there's already one popped over. You are unlike anybody else. All right, so let's get started. Um, cancer, Brother Raccoon. This is a card that's allowing you to say to yourself, um, I'm allowed to go and hide for a little while to put on the mask of a raccoon and hide myself, to go into a burrow, to protect myself. It's safe, it wants you to say a safe place for you to go. It wants you to find some place where you can rehab, where you can go, where you can be safe. And you know, you don't, you know, this card is not about fear, going someplace, you know, going hermit, you know, going dark. It's, it's not about fear. It's really about self-protection in this card. You know, the, the, she's got feathers on her back. She's got an Indian um, feathers in her hair. You know, this is your ancestors just telling you sometimes we just need to find a safe place to fall and it's okay to go dark and it's okay to wear the mask of a raccoon. It's okay to sneak around in the darkness if that's what keeps you safe. And for Scorpio, but let me, before I go on to Scorpio, let me just pull another card to back it up with the um you know the ace of cups this is a beautiful this is a beautiful um card right oh it's not the ace of cups it's the four cups excuse me i apologize um so look uh, you know the universe is trying to give you a cup and you're just like not having it you're not interested in it you're not happy you're very meh. You're like, you already are like, I have three cups. I don't need another cup. And I don't know what this is the reason why you, you know, universe is saying for you maybe to go hermit. Maybe you need to use your inside light to be able to find out why what the universe is giving you or what's being given to you at this time is just not enough. Why you feel like full cups or empty cups why you feel so disenchanted about what's going on cancer you know why i mean it seems i'm almost feeling like you're kind of sick of everybody and you just don't want to talk you just don't want to talk you just don't want to talk and you're not calling you're not receiving you're not interested in discussing you just want to take care of yourself right now and that's all good the universe is kind of telling you to do that Go on to the next one. Let's go on to Scorpio. Scorpio, deep dark sea mermaid. Find solutions in unknown places in the darkness. And now I love this card. Being teaching biology, I love the animals in the deep dark sea. They are able, not only do they are they luminescent, so they have absolutely no power source to get anything from, that they don't see the sun, they live in darkness. But somehow they are luminescent. They have adapted, so they are luminescent. They're see-through. You can see through them. 
And you know, there's life at the bottom of the ocean, completely out of the realm of the sun and what it provides for us. We really got to remember that you can find solutions in unknown places, just the way you could find life in unknown places, totally against the laws of science. Let's see what the tarot has to say to you. Angel spirits guides. Ooh, got a couple. Hmm, pen of swords, something's ending, and you're gonna need strength. This is the great back, big, uh, yeah, there's a million swords I just stuck in your back, and now you're dead. I mean, this is you, you're dead. Um, but at the same time, you know, the sun is coming up in the distance. Tens are ending, so whatever this was, whatever this energy was that you just, it's just, it, it's an end. I mean, come on. You're not recovering from this sometimes. Or if you are, it's going to take a lot to recover. And you're going to need strength. I feel that's why both of these popped out for you. You know, it's just the deep, dark sea mermaid. You're going to have to figure out a different way to move on. And you might find it in the unknown places and in the darkness. I mean, you might need to use your moon energy to move on from this just situation here. Cause this is a situation, this is hurts. This is really, this is, it's, you know, this is really somebody stabbing you in the back, you know? And not only stabbing you in the back, but probably been stabbing you in the back for years and just finally the one in your head killed you. I mean, but hey, there's a new beginning, you know, and you need to find the solutions in, you know, maybe, you know, look to the moon, use your moon strength. High Priestess energy. All right, let's get the next one. Going for Pisces. You are like anyone else. Your contradictions and complexities are very interesting, right? <laughs> I mean, look at this girl. She's surrounded by butterflies. She has the, to the total ability to manifest, to grow, to, m to morph into anything she wants. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. Kind of reminds me of a Gemini. I mean, your contradictions and your complexities are what make you up, that make you, you know, who you are. You know, people might say, you're weird. Stop doing that. I don't get you. I, um, you know, I don't understand what you're talking about. That's too much. Um, I don't get you. You know, and that's okay. People don't need to get you. Don't let that change you. Don't try to fit in a box that someone wants to create for you, Pisces. I feel like this is going out to my girl, Shondell, my Pisces girl. Listen, do not get stuck in the box. You are on a different frequency. So if people don't understand you, somebody, maybe that's good. That's a positive sign. And let's see what we've got in the tarot for you today. Angel Spirits Guides. Angel Spirits Guides. Oh, these cards are so little. They just kind of... Oh, Temperance almost fell out. This one had to pop out twice. Five of Pentacles. You might be feeling left out in the cold, like nobody loves you, that what you're doing is not working, that what you're saying nobody's listening to, but I think this is you isolating yourself, peeps. You know, this person could go inside the church and warm up anytime they want to, but they just want to kind of walk around the outside, the peripheral, you know. <sighs> what can I say about this, guys? You know, you... <laughs> Sometimes we are our own worst enemies. And if we start changing to be what somebody wants us to be, and we don't listen to our inside voices or follow the path that's for us, our pentacle journey, what's going to give us fulfillment, you know, we end up like this. 
in a life that we don't understand or can even adapt to because, you know, your contradictions and complexities are what make you interesting and what makes you different. Okay, so that's for our water signs. Let's see, if it gets too dark, I'm gonna just put it, we'll finish this tomorrow, but I just was feeling pretty good. I wanted to get out there. I wanted to pay with the shapeshifters because I've been reading the book and there is a lot to read. Let me tell you peeps. Okay, so let's get our air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Angel spirits, guys, what do we have for our air signs? Gemini's. Woo! Gemini's. Libra's and Aquarius's. Ooh, Orca Magic for Gemini, Loyal Guardian for Libra, Bats in the Belfry for Aquarius. Okay, so Orca Magic, Gemini, you have a guardian angel looking over you. I mean, the, uh, the Laskic Library is open. So the uh, whales have been always considered by the native Indians as somebody who is a guardian, guards the ships, guards the hunts, guards, knows how to travel. They do like the longest journey of all mammals, something like 20,000 miles to get from one place to another. They are relentless. They, they always believe that they understood the stars and that they would protect them. So this card is just coming in to tell you today that you really have um, guardian angels looking over you. You know, you probably feel them. King of Cups. Woohoo! Off for coming. Off for coming, my gems. Good for you. King of Cups. Doesn't get better than him. He's a doll. He's got love in that cup and he wants to offer it to you. You know, I, I don't know if you're going to take it. You know, he's not the King of Wands. He may not have a hot wand for you, but he certainly has the ability to offer you something that's not just fire it, it it's it's got it's a real it's really solid it's it's something tangible so the king of cups it does you know it doesn't you want him as a boyfriend he's a nice boyfriend angel spirits guys oh what do we've got for our poor libras 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 you are unbalanced today you're coming in with loyal guardian you have a magical protector out there for you. You know, there is just someone in your life. They're saying a dog. Maybe you have a dog. You should listen to what your dog is saying to you. You know, if your dog does not like somebody, um, you know, don't let them in your house. <laughs> Seriously, I, if my dog doesn't like somebody, I'm very skeptical. All right. Um, also, it just could be anything. It, it may have been a dog that has passed on. There's somebody out there that's loyal, that is protecting you, and that is really there to keep, you know, the bad peeps away. All right? As opposed to Gemini's Orca, which is, you know, angels are showing her direction. This is more, this is more of a guardian that's protecting you. Okay? And it's coming in with the Ten of Wands. Another ending here. I mean, this is my drop the rock card. People don't understand that sometimes. I just feel like this guy's got so much on his back. It's just time to let it all go. Drop all the wands, stand up straight, and just get rid of all the negative crap in your life. I mean, Libra, I'm surprised because you're generally a very balanced sign, but it looks like you might be out of balance. And... You know, there might be somebody in your life that is just not pulling their weight. And it's coming in with loyal guardian, you know. Maybe there's somebody in your life that's already telling you that this this is, is too much for you. So, you know, listen to those around you. Listen to guidance from beyond. Listen to guidance from the dog. All right, and for our Aquarius's bells in the belfry, you can achieve great things. This is to tell you that, you know, bats will show you how to fly in the dark and upside down. You know, that life is filled with challenges, 
but you know you have the ability to always move forward always moving forward even if it's in the dark and you're flying upside down and you have uh, the ability to achieve great things because of this unique ability to be able to block out just all the negative stuff that happens in your in your life and keep moving forward that's a great sign but that's a great card Aquarius it's really like suited to your sign too you know you do have the ability to Ooh, got a couple of good things coming in too you've got um, the ten of cups right happy family happy home happy love children the dog the whole nine yards or the ten yards in this case nice but you know you also have the two of pentacles you might be at a point where you have to decide about something you have too many balls in the air and you might have to scale it back for a happier family um you know you can achieve great things but remember you know like the ships are coming in in this card and this guy's got his back to it you know he's not seeing what's out there for him because he's too busy juggling stupid shit so you know just uh if it has to do with family and happiness, you might have to be making a decision to put one of your um, pentacles down, okay? So that's for our air signs. Let's see if before I get completely eaten by mosquitoes, which is happening all of a sudden. They're getting me on my back. Little brats. Oh, who invented mosquitoes? Please tell me the purpose of mosquitoes because I just don't know. All right. So, my friends, let's move on to earth signs. Let's see if we can push through this before, you know, it's too dark. Okay. So, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See what we got for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus today? I'm going to pull these because we're running out of time. Oh, I don't. We're going to do that again, guys, because I just didn't. Your imaginary friend for Taurus, the butterfly ferrets, and strange companions, strange companions in stranger places. All right, for Gemini, what do we have to go along with our imaginary friend? Ooh, the Hierophant for Taurus. Ooh, the Lovers for Virgo. And for Cap, we have the Three of Cups reversed. All right, so let's look at this. Your imaginary friend. So, Taurus, today, you know, maybe somebody from your past is going to come back into your life, say hi. Um, maybe you're going to be digging through the garage, cleaning out the COVID stuff, and you're going to find something of yours that you lost, maybe a yearbook, maybe a letter, maybe an old toy, maybe a train, just something that had sentimental va meaning. And, you know, this card just wants you to take time out. And like appreciate an old friend if they call you and appreciate your your um you know your old toy and think about i uh, think about your imaginary friend you used to have as a child and how they used to keep you safe and you used to tell all your your secrets to you know i it's just a card of just remembering childhood almost like the six of cups and just uh, you know, appreciate it for what it is. It's coming in from the hair with the hierophant. This has a lot to do with faith. Has to do with marriage. It has to do with um, serious relationships, religion. You know, maybe somebody comes back from your past that you remembered from, maybe Catholic school or or just something that used to put a lot of faith into is going to resurface, okay? And then for Virgo, you have butterfly ferrets, I am reborn. I mean, there this these cards are so many ferrets. You know, ferrets are very suspicious of people. <laughs> you know, so the fact that they made them butterflies is, you know, saying it's okay to be suspicious. It'll still you'll still go through your transformation if you're meant to transform. You know, that maybe it's just time, like there's all the dead woods behind her. You know, it's time to just 
spread your wings and fly. And it's coming in with the lover's card. So that, you know, can't be better than that. Maybe you're dealing with the Gemini. Maybe, um, I don't know. It, this is the lover. This is, oh, this is the two of cups, not the lovers. I'm sorry. So like the two of cups is the lovers of the, the minor arcana. So, you know, we're really got two people here, blessed by God, bringing each other, you know, emotion, love and support, you know, and appreciate it. Maybe I'll help you get reborn in love. Then we are looking at Capricorn. Capricorn, strange companions in stranger places. Challenges, use your imagination. You know, this is a little, re I think this is Cinderella and Alice in Wonderland. You know, they both had to be incredibly strong to get through the journey that they had in their little stories. And together they are a duo that's uncompromised, not only loved by the small people, the animals, and um, you know, for their positivity and their love and their strength, but they, I feel like there might be someone in your life that is, strangely enough is going to be um, a great companion for you. And it may also help you with your challenges. They'll help you use your imagination. And I feel like maybe something might have gone wrong. This is the Three of Cups reverse. I mean, maybe this was a three-party relationship. I'm not sure, but maybe this pers other person who was in the three-party relationship, they might be able to clarify some things for you. You know, um, help you with your challenges. Maybe clarify some stuff. Maybe you're suffering. I'm not sure. But this doesn't have to be, this doesn't have to be a, a, a romantic relationship. This could be a business relationship. This could be somebody helping you in a business relationship. And, you know, the three of cups, you know, there might have been a situation where you weren't able to trust the people that you thought you could. You know, you thought it was a time for celebration, but it was really a time of just, you know, mistrust, really, at the end of the day. They did you wrong. So you might have, you might just, I don't know. You'll never know, right? They'll, you'll find some solace with somebody who might have gone through the same thing, right? Okay, great. Let's move on. We're almost at the end as it's getting really dark. I love doing this with you guys. I really can't see who's on, but hello, hello to anybody who did come on. All right, let's get on. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. What do we have for our fire signs today? Oh, three cards came out, and I'm taking them all, people. Ah, hedgehog glove. So for Aries, hedgehog glove, positive, uplifting, new friends. For Leo, little wolf girl, it's all right to be alone. And Elizabeth the lion, it's time to become a great leader. Let's see. I'm going to put the candle closer. Um... Hedgehog love. So what do we have for Aries? These little cards. Aries, King of Cups. Ha ha. Nice. The Fool reversed for Leo. And the Ace of Pentacles reversed for Sag. Okay, so listen. Hedgehog love. Uplifting positive new friends. Maybe you got something new working in your life. You know, it's okay to have new friends. Sometimes our old friends become old and prickly. Maybe you don't really get along with them anymore. Maybe it's just like, ow, you know, they're just like not a safe place to fall anymore. Maybe it's time to just reach out to people that have more of your interests in common, right? That's cool. Making new friends that are more uplifting and it's coming in with the King of Cups. Might come in with a love offer. Or an abundance offer. Like I said before, King of Cups, he's the man. He's the man you want to show up in your spread. And he's positive and uplifting. Maybe that's what he has in his cup. Good for you, Aries. Leo, a little wolf girl. It's all right to be alone. So, listen, guys. This is just another one of these cards where you know she's sad she's done you know she's under the moon she's trying to get a little moon energy she's crying she's wearing a talisman of the moon 
you know, it's okay to take a time out and be alone. Sometimes we just need to check out and take care of ourselves. We talk about this all the time. And this is just another card coming to remind you that, you know, where people say that when people hibernate, when people check out, when people di become disenchanted with other people, you know, that, that that's not right. That's not how we should be spending our time. I mean, sometimes we have to. I mean, sometimes it's all about meditation and growing because usually we come out of these situations where we want to be alone and we want to go hermit and we want to go, you know, hangman and we just, um, we come out of them stronger people and that takes time, you know, and it's coming in with the full reversed. I mean, something's blocking you from moving forward. You know, this is a leap of faith card, you know, get your stuff, pack light, grab your doggy and jump off the cliff. You know, the sun is on your back. I mean, sometimes it could be a little bit too impetuous to do that, but in this case, I feel like you for a really long time have been watching your footsteps and, you know, something bad probably just has not made you happy and it's time for you to go inside and see what you really want and what's going to help you move forward. Elizabeth the Lion coming in for Jagittarius. It's time to be a great leader. We had this card yesterday. I love this card. It's Elizabeth the First. She's the coolest queen going. She rose from the ashes. She went against all, you know, all the powers that be. She became queen, a very long ruling queen that was one of the best in um, British history. You know, she created the golden age. I mean, she is the girl, man. They want you to embrace your Elizabeth I. Dress the part, speak the part control the savage beast control your savage beast talk the part look the part and speak up for people who don't have the ability to speak up for themselves okay and before we lose the light you did have the ace of pentacles reversed you know maybe you're just not feeling like you know the divine is offering you anything at this point anything new you kind of feel stuck you're not feeling the abundance, but I think maybe it's time for you to just stand up for yourself and show them what you're made of, how intelligent you are and what a leader you are. You know, it's time, it's time to manifest these things for yourself. You know, you don't always have to wait for the universe to give them to you, you know? Maybe the universe has already given you a couple of chances and maybe it wants you now to do it on your own. All right, so thanks everybody who tuned in. Um, I'm sorry it got so dark, but... Um, I'm not going to be on tomorrow. I got to work, but I love you all. Thank you. And I'll talk to you soon.